Today, we're delving into the world of multilingual websites. We're going to see a free plugin that allows us to create a multilingual WordPress website and also how we can use that in conjunction with a website that will create and set up those multilingual translations for us, which we can easily pull in directly into the plugin. So let's just jump into WordPress and see how we can do all of that. My name is Paul C and welcome to WP Tuts, where I show you how to create beautiful WordPress websites. If this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing, click at the bell icon to be notified of our weekly new content as soon as it's added to the channel. Now before we start this video, I just want to say this is a sponsored video by the Translation Service USA, the people behind Convey This, but this is just a demonstration. I'm not going to give you a review. You can make your own minds up what you think of this particular product, service and plugin. So you can see this is the website. All the links for this will be in the description below. But first of all, let's take a look at how we can create or set everything up to start becoming a multilingual based website. And then we'll take a look at the actual translation service itself. So we just jump over to the website. You can see I just set something really basic up with some basic just text. So we've got everything set up in English to start off with. And we'll use this as the basis for our translation. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump over to the plugin section of WordPress. I'm going to click on Add New. Then I'm going to go through and I'm going to find the Convey This plugin. So we're going to go to Convey This Translation. Let that find it. Once we found that up, you can see there's the actual translation service plugin. So we're going to click install now. Once that's installed, it's going to ask us for some basic information before we can move on. So we'll activate the plugin. Once we've activated, we're going to get a little message say we need to do some configuration. And there we go. There's our configuration option. So we click on the configuration page. That'll take us through. And you can see we need to put in just some basic information. Now, to do this, we can set the plugin up like I've done. But we'll need to sign up for this particular translation service before we can go any further. It's pretty straightforward. All we need to do is click on Convey This, where it says the API key. That'll open up a new tab and take us through so we can go through the sign up process. Now you can see I've already signed up to this and I'm just using the completely free plan. We're going to use this as the basis. You can see there's my API key. So all I need to do is click on that, copy it, then just jump back over into WordPress and paste that in to my plugin. Next thing we need to do is you say we've got a source language. So it's just saying what language is the language of your website, the default language. Well, mine is in English. That's fine. Then we'll go through and say, what's the target language you want to use? Well, we can choose anything we want on here and it'll go through and it'll find out if that's already set up and configured. So let's just say we want to do Spanish. You can see there's Spanish as an option. So we can click on that. That now adds that in. Now, if you want to create more translations for your multilingual site, you can select more options in here. However, just be, bear in mind, you will need to have an uprated plan to give you access to more of those languages for your multilingual site. So that's just something to bear in mind. So once we've done that, we've got everything we need to go. We can hit Save Changes, and that's the basics. Everything is set up. So we come down, we we'll see we've got Show Options, and you can see there's some additional options in there. So we can go through and we can say, how do we want this to be conveyed or shown on our site? You can see we've got an example, and it'll show us English and Spanish. We can choose from three different options for how the picture of the flag is shown. We've got rectangle, square, circle. As you can see, we get a little preview to show us exactly what it looks like. Text, we can jump in there. We can say full text, short text, or without text. So you can just simply have a symbol. So if you do have quite a few different languages you want to use, it's going to get potentially a little unwieldy. Well, you could do it without the text if you wanted to. You can also then specify the position of this on your page. You can see at the moment it's set to right bottom, but we can put it right top. We can even then go through and control the indentation to make sure we've got it sitting exactly where we want in our design. So again, let's just save the changes to update what I've done in there to reflect those. And if we just jump over to our test site and just refresh this now, we should see down the bottom right hand corner, we've now got the little symbols for the different languages we have available. Now it's worth bearing in mind that when you install this plugin and you set up your account and link it through with the API, it's going to go through your site and start the translation process. So we've done everything we want now. So if we click on this and we say we're going to change this over to the Spanish language, I click. And you'll see that'll take us over now. And what it does is if you take a look at the address bar at the top, it prepends the domain with the ES in this example, which is the Spanish. Obviously, if we had French, we'd have FR and so on and so forth. So you can see it started to do the translation. 
we look at the top section we've got our navigation you can see we've got casa instead of home so it's all pretty straightforward there's nothing very complex about how you can do that so as the website owner, if you want to make manual updates or tweaks to the actual translation, you can log into your Convey This account and do that very easily. So let's just jump into the Convey This website and see what tools we have available to work in conjunction with our plugin. So this is my dashboard, as I've shown you at the top of the video where we took in the API key. And you can see it gives us some information. We can tell us what plan we're currently on, the current word usage, 0 out of 5,000 at the moment, the number of translated languages, and the number of page views. We can jump over if you want to change the plan and you can click on there and you can see all the different plans that are available just to give you a good example of what you get for the different amounts of money that you could potentially pay. Next up we've got the My Translation section and this is where you can find out all the different things that have been translated on the sites you have associated with your Convey This account. So you can see this is the account that I'm working with. If I click on that you'll see this opens it up and just shows me the language that's been used on this. So you can see we've got ES for the Spanish the page views, we can delete this if we want to and assign a different language in it to be translated and so on. So if we click on this, that'll take us over and what this does now is it shows us all the source of information, all the text on the pages that's been translated, including things like meta tags and attributes and so on. And we can see the source language and we can see the translation language. Now these are all automatically translated. So if you wanted to go in and fine tune, well you could do that directly inside the Convey This website. So that's pretty cool. I kind of like the way that does it. So you can see if we take a sort of scroll down, you can see the, even the copyright at the bottom. There's the English version. There's the Spanish version. If we jump back over now to the website and refresh this. So there we go. All our navigation at the top now has been translated to Spanish. Our hero image, all the different information underneath including all the different sections we've got. There's our footer and copyright information, all translated. So you can see it's very, very easy to go through the whole process. Once you've linked this to your Convey This account and you have the plugin installed and the API key added into the WordPress plugin, you can see it's incredibly easy to work with. Now on top of the actual text content on the page, you can see we also have the options for meta text and attributes. So we expand that out, you can see at the moment I don't really have anything on the page, but what we've got is there's the actual meta information and there's the automatically translated version of it. The same with the attributes, if we have things like the RSS feed as part of your website, a part of a WordPress website, you can see these things that are also being translated for you. It takes care of pretty much all the key aspects of translating your page. And once you've done that, you can see it's very easy to come in and just simply go and choose the alternative language and go through and you can see it's done. The translation is all set up for you, all done in the background with complete control via the website. I think it's really cool. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think of Convey This. Do you think this is something you could use in your design process? Have you ever been asked for a multilingual site and use Convey This? If you have, or you've got any comments, questions, or feedback, please pop those in the comment section below. Let's get a conversation started and see what everybody thinks of this particular plugin and service. As always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and hit the bell icon to be notified every time new content is added to the channel. And as always, until next time, take care.